Representative Jared Polis is a Democrat from Colorado. He's going to flip out on the House floor here over the GOP obstructing immigration reform. To bring to the attention of the House an occupant of the gallery. Uh, Madam Speaker, the, 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 the general people in the gallery, the men and women who are spending their time here, would not have to be in, the gallery, in, in those galleries advocating if this House simply took up the bill. You think they want to be spending their time here, Madam Speaker? Is that what you think? They want to be spending their time here in the gallery, probably traveling at their own expense to Washington? And you're saying we're addressing them and that's what you're upset about, Madam Speaker? You, I want you, Madam Speaker, to address the reason that they are here. They are here because our government is tearing apart their families, Madam Speaker. Well, the gentleman from Colorado understand all members... Will the Speaker are understand behind. that the Speaker is obstructing H.R. 15 from coming to the floor? Will the Speaker Gentlemen understand that? Order. Will the Speaker understand that? Will the Speaker understand that? Gentlemen, may proceed. Will the Speaker understand that the Speaker is preventing H.R. 15 from coming to the floor, and that is why... There are men and women in the gallery that potentially face deportation and their families are being torn apart. It's very simple. It's very simple. Very simple, Madam Speaker. Very simple. We need an immigration system that reflects our values as Americans. A nation of immigrants and a nation of laws. One that creates jobs for Americans. One that reduces our deficit by over $200 billion. Secures our border. Prevents terrorists from entering our country. So we know who's here, ensures that crimes are reported. We can do that, Madam Speaker. And you know what? I've heard it said that perhaps some prefer to do it piecemeal. Well, let's see what the pieces are and let's have a meal. It, I understand his frustration because when it comes to the immigration bill, it increases border security. Republicans want that. It cuts the deficit. Republicans want that. Immigrants have to pay all of their backed taxes then get to the back of the line, then when they get to the front, they have to pay a fine on top of the back taxes, then there's a waiting period of 12 to 15 years, and then finally we consider maybe letting them in at that late date. I mean, this is a right-wing wet dream, and they're still blocking it. And why are they blocking it? Because they hate the big bad Democrats, they hate President Obama, and it doesn't matter if you go out of your way to propose things that are literally their ideas and their policies, they'll still say, no, we, we hate it now. We hate it, we're gonna vote no. I mean, the perfect example of that is Obamacare. Obamacare is based on the individual mandate. That's the key provision in the law. The individual mandate was created by a right-wing think tank, the Heritage Foundation. Fucking Nixon tried to get a similar law to that passed when he was president. Chuck Grassley, Newt Gingrich, all the Republicans in the 1990s were in favor of an individual mandate system, so they were the godfathers of Obamacare. But then when the Democrats uh, get it through and they pass it, oh, it's the worst thing ever, horrible, it's socialism. Really? Then, were, well, were you in favor of socialism in the 90s? Is that what it was? You were a socialist back then? What, so who's your favorite? Uh, or Lenin? Are you a, a Leninist? Do you like Che Guevara? Who, who, who you like? I mean, obviously you were a socialist if you're saying this is socialist. So again, man, I, I understand the frustration. And what you have to remember is that these people, they're people, <laughs> they're human beings, the immigrants. I know conservatives like to try to you know, dehumanize and wall off that part of their brain and compartmentalize and say, no, it's not the same, no, don't worry about it, they're breaking the law, so be harsh on them. But they're human beings and they deserve to be treated equally. And by the way, I'm not some sort of like open border anarchist, I get it, right? Like you should have some sort of border protection and you should have some sort of legal system set up where people can come here and you, we shouldn't incentivize illegal immigration. But at the same time, what you have to realize is that they are human beings and they're living as second class citizens right now. That's totally unfair, that shouldn't be allowed. And also, you're a hypocrite. If you're not in favor of immigration, you're a hypocrite. Because I hate to tell you, you're not Native American. If you are Native American, I mean, you know what it's like. You saw the genocide. We wiped you out, uh, you know, when the pilgrims came here and then we did westward expansion and the Trail of Tears. So you were an immigrant at one point. 